Hello guys, I'm going to quickly run you through how you can create your own custom drum kits in JM Maestro. Now, there are two types of drum kits that you can create. There's the regular custom drum kits where you'd use your own drum samples. And then there's the MIDI drum kits where they interface with a background MIDI app or device. Now, for both, the process is essentially the same to create. Um, so I'll just start you off with the, the sample regular kind. So first thing to do is to go add instrument and then we select drums here and then we just scroll down and here we can see the user section. Now this is where all your user created custom drums are going to live. Obviously we have none right now so we're just going to hit the create drum pack button. And on this screen, this is basically where we're going to define uh, what samples are going to be used in our custom drum kit. As you can see, here's some I prepared earlier. Uh, I got them into Jam Maestro just by dragging them into the iTunes file sharing section, uh, dragging them into Jam Maestro. Easy enough. Uh, if you want, you can just import them via Dropbox as well. I uh, just click the Dropbox tab there and import. So I'm just going to select all these guys. to be loaded up in my kit and I'm going to give it a name so I'm just going to call it demo and when we're ready to go we just hit the create button okay so that's basically imported all the samples into Jam Maestro and set up with a default interface uh, which you can see here Now obviously the default interface might not be quite what we're looking for and obviously the samples are all assigned to the wrong pads etc. So to edit this all we have to do is press the setup button in the top right here uh, and it puts us into edit mode. Now in edit mode we can obviously move pads around however we like. Um, we can add rows, or delete rows, um, we can add a bunch of pads if we wish. Um, and we can also edit pads and their properties, for example. Now, what I'm gonna do here, I think, is create a, a five-piece drum kit, and you can sort of just observe and watch how I do it. So obviously, we're gonna create a five-piece drum kit. First thing we wanna do is get rid of some of these drum pads. Uh, so I'm just gonna do that like so. Hit the Remove button up here. Till we've got five. There we go. Okay, so I'll start off from the bottom left here, and this guy will be our snare. Uh, conveniently already called snare with a snare graphic, but we could change it if we want. So we select our snare sample, and if we wanted to select what MIDI in note he'd respond to, we just hit the MIDI in uh, button here, and we choose what MIDI in we want it. And this guy, he can be a bass, so we'll call him bass. And we'll select the base graphic and the base sample. And this guy up here, he can be, we'll call him Tom2. And we'll select the Tom2 graphic. And sample. Tom1's already conveniently called Tom1 and using the right graphic. So we'll just give him the right sample. And the last guy, he's going to be our hi-hat. Now, with hi-hat, this is where the different pad types come in handy because uh, we can actually create a double pad and we can assign two samples to this pad. So I'm basically going to assign the open and close hi-hat, which basically means that these two samples are going to share the same audio channel so if uh, one sample plays while the other one's already playing it will stop the other sample from playing just as you can't play a hi-hat and a closed hi-hat simultaneously like so so we'll just give them appropriate names and we're done Cool, so we might also want to edit uh, how these are represented in the tab. So we do that by pressing the tab order button up here. And we can sort of drag around our, our tab rows, just like so. 
And we can also change the label uh, that each row has. The row label is actually quite important um, because if we are, say we're copying between one drum kit to another, uh, Jam Maestro will look to these row labels to basically identify which drum is which. So obviously if you've got a tab that says HH for hi-hat, it will look to the, the drum kit that you're copying to to see that also has one called HH and it will basically copy all the tab information on that row to the HH in the other drum kit if that makes sense. So it's best to basically try and keep your row labels consistent with the other drum kits in Jam Maestro if you can. Now here we basically select the icons that are going to be represented for each uh, each pad. Alright, looks like we're done. So I'm just going to go back and we're going to hit save uh, to save our drum kit. And if we go into tab here we can basically see uh, our tab is set up how we wanted it to be and we've got our pads down here so I could quickly just enter something okay so we didn't actually use all those samples that we initially loaded up. So it's actually best if we go back into the drum kit now and we go down and we see there's an edit button here which we can click. And if we scroll down, we can basically see this is our custom drum kit here. And these are all the samples loaded in. And there's a series of ticks and double ticks. Now the double ticks basically mean um, they're loaded into memory with the drum kit and they're actually being used, whereas the single ticks mean they're loaded into memory but they're not actually being used at all. Now that just, that's just a waste, we don't need that. So what we're going to do is we're going to untick these single ticks and we're going to hit this update button. So basically when we go back in now, uh, these aren't being loaded into memory anymore. Um, and since they're not being loaded into memory, we can just delete them as well. That way we're not loading up any samples that we're not actually using. All right, there we go. So if we wanted to just export this as well, we could hit the export button here and this will be saved to your Jam Maestro documents directory. And you can basically just take this file and send it to anyone and they can um, import using this screen um, the custom jump kit you made it and it'll be set up just exactly the same way you've set it up here. Now, if you wanted to create a MIDI drum kit, it's pretty easy to. All you have to do is go Add Instrument and go to MIDI. And here's the background MIDI app that's conveniently loaded up. And I'm going to click that and click Load. And we go into it. Now, Jam Maestro has detected that we've loaded Drum Jam here, so it's automatically picked an interface that's appropriate. Um, but if we had a different MIDI app that wasn't uh, automatically detected or we wanted to say pick a different drum pack in Drum Jam, all we do is go Setup and we go to the Presets section here and we can see all these inbuilt uh, factory presets interfaces uh, for MIDI drums. Um, so we're on this, this one right here, um, but we could pick another if we wanted. Um, like so. Now if there was if there wasn't any here that we um, that were appropriate for what we wanted to do, we can just create our own one. We could go load blank template. And that would just create a blank template and we could just do exactly the same as we did before. So we could add a bunch of pads. We could move them around. Uh, we could edit them. Edit the MIDI notes that are being sent. etc. So once we'd set that up exactly how we wanted it to be, uh, we could just go into the presets menu again and go save as and we could just call that test um, and we'd scroll down and we've got our user preset down the bottom here test and likewise we can just export this exactly as we did uh, with the 
uh, normal sample kind drum kits. Um, and here we are, and we've got the file there. And we can come back to that whenever we wanted. Like so. So that's pretty much it. Uh, that's all there is to know. Um, if you have any questions still, you can always just uh, contact me through any of these two buttons here, and I'll be happy to help any way I can.